Okay, ten facts about me. Um, number one, um, the first thing I ever wanted to be was a, a, um, a fighter pilot. Um, I'm about five foot seven, so I would have been like the Tom Cruise sort of size. Um, I joined a little organisation called the Air, a ATC, which is the Air Training Corps, and we used to march around on parade. And because um, I was a new boy, they'd run out of sort of guns, um, so I had to walk around with a broomstick. Um, so I didn't stick that out very long. Uh, second thing I wanted to become was probably uh, an actor or something. Um, always been obsessed with films. Um, so number three um, was definitely a director. Um, it's something I really wish I'd done. But when I went to school, there was no film clubs, no, you know, no, I don't think we even had a camera. It was just your normally groggy old secondary school with not many chances of um, achieving anything outlandish apart from being good at English or maths. Uh, number four... Um, I used to get picked on dreadfully at school, um, obviously I was a lot shorter than I am now and I basically got picked on for like two years. Um, so I started doing, I think it was karate, no, yeah, karate classes and um, I was no good at karate but um, the instructor used to keep kicking me in the head and it got to the stage where I really wasn't bothered about being kicked in the head. So I went to school um, after doing that for a couple of weeks, the guy picked on me. And um, I didn't hit him, I didn't kick him, I headbutted him, and it was a perfect headbutt, so he went down, I didn't hurt my head, I got told off, I got into trouble, but he never picked on me again, so um, headbutt them, <laughs> that's the way forward. Right, number five, um, the beating up thing, um, I used to get beaten up an awful lot, um, I was a kind of a, well I was a mod, which is like the guys running around their scooters with the parkers and what have you in the sort of 1979 mod revival. So the worst beating I ever got was an embarrassing one. It was in a, um, a very busy food store. Me and my mate were thinking we were like, really cool, walking around like Jack the Lads, had a little trilby hat on, looked right idiot. And a couple of skinheads sort of come up to me and the girl who was with them wanted my hat, took my hat off. I turned round to try and get it back off her, bang in the face. Turned round again to get away from being beaten, bang in the face again. And um, then I had a good kick in on the floor. Um, but the most embarrassing part was all the staff was, you know, oh, look at him. I was absolutely covered in blood. My nose was splattered on both sides. And they took me into the staff room and I was going, no, no, it's all right. It's all right. I'll be fine. <laughs> so that was that one. Um, so I think that's what, number five. So number six, um, when I was a lad, I used to um, not like staying in the house as much as possible. It wasn't a particularly good upbringing. Um, so we had lots of outbuildings. I was lucky enough to have a huge garden as a child. And we had like a chicken run. It sounds really stupid, but me and my mate turned into like a den. And um, we used to crash out there in the middle of the night. And uh, we decided to just walk down the town. So we lived in like a village. So it was a good five mile walk. So mid midnight, everyone was asleep, walked down the town. And one particular occasion, we went to this park and had this huge slide. And instead of like just normal steps out of these big round, almost like the big round things they put underground for like water pipes as steps. So I sort of ran up to the top and was looking around because we heard this noise in this like little shed thing. And I was going, oh, there's somebody in there, must be a bit of a hobo or something. And um, my mate was going, no, 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 don't worry about it. And just as I looked down at the base of my feet, there was this guy and I swear, he was going, ah, it was like dawn of the dead. And we just, I jumped, I mean, I, it was really tall, I just jumped and bolted and we ran five miles all the way home. And after that time, we never sort of ventured out much beyond the village. Um, but no, that's, I, I'd honestly say that was the most scared I've ever been in my life. He was just about to touch my foot. Right, so number seven, I was, same guy, same sort of age group, we used to dare ourselves to like go into people's gardens. We weren't vandals or anything, but we'd go into people's gardens. And it was like a dare. But then it got to the stage where it was like a dare to try and get into the garden shed. So one day I get into this garden shed and um, <laughs> I get in there and he's got that, this golf games, like full size golf clubs. And there's a big plastic like putting hole in the green. And I, I, I set it all up. I mean, I'm in somebody's garden, I'm, break, I'm private property and I'm, I'm like playing golf. So I'm saying to my mate, look, come in here, come in here, this is really like cool. So we clear an area and it's shed which is bigger than this room which is like the kids den down here it's bigger than this room and we're like lost in it absolutely blown away by this little golfing game all of a sudden the guy comes in what the hell are you doing in my, in my shed and we're just like just ran just pushed him out of the way and ran it was uh, it's, <laughs> it's one of those funny ones right then what, what else are we? i've got a little list here 
because um, I've been out in the binge last night and my brain isn't working particularly well. So, number eight, I have been asked this quite a few times, what's, with all the stuff that I collect, what's my favourite one item? When I take a picture of it, I, I forgot to bring it down here, um, it's, um, it's on Her Majesty's Secret Service, it's a really rare little box set, it's, it's um, James Bond's bobsleigh, uh, Blofeld's bobsleigh, and um, there's a little uh, orange um, uh, VW Beetle, but it's, it's as rare as mustard, and um, a mate of mine who lives in South End on Sea, Darren, yeah, little link there, um, he, he got it for me years ago, and um, oh, it just you just don't get it, and um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you a picture of it. I'm stuttering and stammering now, but uh, doing this in one hit, guys. That's why I've got it written down. So number nine. Um, I don't even know what that says. Oh, right, yeah, this one's a strange one. Um, because of my height and because of my, um, I don't know, I suppose not boyish looks, but um, I'm quite good for my years. When I was younger, girls always found me sweet. It was always sweet. Oh, isn't he sweet? Isn't he sweet? And I dreamed of somebody just getting hold of me and saying, oh, you're really hot, and just slamming me against the wall and doing something really naughty. But now it's always sweet, so, oh, God. I just have to hold hands with the guy, the girl, for the absolute guy. It's a guy, fucking hell. <laughs> but the girl for absolutely ages. Um, and um, because I was sweet, I had to keep this oh, sweet image. But um, I always wanted to be hot. It's a very strange one, but it's a true one. Um, but now I've got older, being sweet and being good for me age is, is, is actually a plus now. So, you know, what comes around goes around. And finally, yeah, a strange one this. Um, as I say, I've done something similar to this before, so I've kind of run out of answers. I mean, there's lots of things you can say is weird and wonderful about yourself, but um, I don't think there's anything particularly weird and wonderful about me, to be honest with you. I'm just a normal Bob Standard man. But um, the one thing I will say is I'm actually quite happy with who I am now. You go through years of not being particularly happy with who you are, but um, yeah, I, I, I look in the mirror, I'm not too bad, I walk down the street, I don't feel conscious of myself, um, I like people, and um, yeah, I'm happy with myself, so that's basically it. Um, I hope you enjoyed these, it's a bit of a ramble, I have got a headache, and um, I did have a good night last night, so I shall obviously tag a few of you here, I'll try and um, do some random tags, because I've got a funny feeling a lot of people are going to be tagging the same people. So I'll, um, I'll try and tag some different people. So take care of yourselves. See you later. Bye.